819 Saturday. Where am I? Oh, put it on auto. Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. <laughs> oh, Tina. Guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Instructor Reen? Oh, morning, everyone. Sorry, looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. Uh, quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Thank goodness! I was almost afraid you'd never wake up! You guys... She's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease. Even after we managed to escape. The moment we made it to Aaron, we were out for nearly an entire day. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside. Old and new class 7 alike. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face, like a vision into my future. Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooze. Anyway, stop coddling him already. The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh yeah! I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Exposed. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. Like hell I did! Quit making shit up, you damn snitches! <laughs> it's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> can I say? Shit happens. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> I suppose so. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot. But either way, thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that. But for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. As am I. Though, frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Glad to hear it. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. As for you two, Yuna, Kurt, it seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. Well, I mean, we kind of owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. If there's one thing you've taught us, it's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owed the bulk of our success to the old Class 7 and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. <sighs> Tina. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepy bunny. Why is everyone here? Oh. Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. It's good to be back. Instructor Reen! I... I... <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Alright. Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Maybe it's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? Welcome back, Instructor Reen! Welcome back.
And look at all these ships at our disposal. Got some new threads. Oh. Wow, that sure suits you. Now this from my village helped prepare it for you. The old coat of yours was practically shredded to pieces. This new one even has enchantments woven into it that will help keep your mana under control. Grandmother, Vita, and Celine all helped out. It won't sort everything out on its own, but you might as well keep it on. I'm not sure if the design will suit your taste, but don't like a gift horse in the mouth. Seriously, it's great. I really appreciate all the work you must have put into it. I doubt I can ever thank you all enough. You are most welcome. That's going to take some getting used to, but I think it'll work. Yeah, it goes better with the brand new hair color. Looks cool. I like it. The white one was cute, but this one has a charm all its own. I like the black better too. That's a little too much for my taste. You can put a lot lid off though, Irene. Yes, it isn't so much the clothes, but how you wear them. They stay in a fashion show, but you don't look half bad. All jokes aside, it really does suit you. Looks like it's pretty durable too. It should serve you well. It's perfect for setting out on a new journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I like it too. Thanks again, everybody. I hate to put a downer on things, but there's something we need to be clear about. There's no cure for the curse that's affecting me. I'll stay the sacrifice until the Great Twilight ends. I guess it's my destiny. All this was decided for me ever since I was little. Instructor. Damn it. But that doesn't mean you're going to give up, does it? No, of course not. I'm the one who started all this, so I have to see it through. I'll keep moving forward and do what I believe is right until the bitter end. This curse, my becoming an awakener, the rivalries, it may feel overwhelming sometimes, but I want to see how it all plays out. We're officially off the radar. I think we're safe. Phew, that was crazy. I was about to have a heart attack. Well done, both of you. Now, let's find somewhere to land. Actually, I think this is where you part ways. Bro? Huh? You're not coming with us? Uh, this doesn't feel right, you know? Besides, with the rivalry starting, this is no time to be making friends. You mean... Talking about the fate that awaits all Awakeners. I was never trying to make friends in the first place. Come on, it's high time we left. That really is a shame. Oh, you're both so cruel. I wouldn't have minded welcoming you into our ranks for a while. Duvali in particular would be well worth training myself. She does seem like the type to respond to a little tough love. How about letting us pick up where Ariana and Leon left off? You two are far too unpredictable for that. And Vita, you're not even a swordsman! So? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Crow, how much do you know about the rivalries? Probably about as much as you. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny's coming in hot. And where it's all gonna go down. You mean... So it's true after all. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Don't forget, I was the one that led you to become an Awakener. I'd be more than willing to stay by you until you're ready to go. Uh... 
It's a tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. If I went along with you, I'd be giving up my life in a very different way. Well, that is a shame. But it was nice seeing you again, Crow. Right back at you. Do you think you guys could not flirt right on top of me like this? <laughs> well, if you want to know about the rivalry, you should head over to the Spirit Shrine, the place where I had a near miss with you when I was Seek. I'm thinking of checking it out myself. Bryonia Island Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. Right! Right. Act 2. The Guiding Starlight.
All these books have been banned by the church. I'm starting to wish I'd gotten Kevin to bring back everything from the recluse club cube. Kevin? Ah, hello everyone. You seem like you're ready to head off. So glad to see you've recovered, Rain. Oh, absolutely has to at this point. Wind. Wind. Wait, hang on a second. 
Ward issue is the best weapons merchant around. Everyone will want a predator wars. I still got a long way to go before I'm up to her level. You <laughs> see. It'd be an honor to share a drink with you in the near future, Schwarzer. Hell yeah! General Cassius Bright. Something about him reminds me of Lube, though. I should probably keep my eye on him. What about you two? Beautiful.
Let's go. We are now entering Tyranian Plateau airspace. The current time is 1324. Where shall I plot our course? Malva Coast. Actually, no. They're the Olbia Lowlands. Circle around the peninsula and proceed west along the river. Then head north and swoop over the Belarus Sea. Aye aye, Captain. Looks like we managed to avoid their Air Force surveillance network.
I've gotta say, guys in Razin are just awesome amazing. <laughs> First I've ever heard of that. Awesome maze. Moving on from from Griffin already. I had a lot of regrets from when you were gone, Instructor. Why didn't I say anything earlier? I guess I just couldn't handle being honest with you about this. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Reen. Around two years ago, you saved me and my siblings' lives. It was around the time you first came to Crossbell as the Ashen Chevalier. You rescued a girl and some young kids who were thrown out of a civilian truck and abandoned. Though you probably don't even remember who they were. No, I remember it well, you know. I had a bright pink hair like yours isn't something you can just forget. I didn't pick up on it when we first met, but I put two and two together one day during class. The day you shielded your siblings with your body after being thrown from the truck. It just solidified for me what lengths someone from the police academy was willing to go to. But why didn't you say anything earlier? All the time I spent worrying about this. Ugh, this is the worst. I'm sorry, Yuna. I guess I should have known this would happen. To tell you the truth, what happened back there in Crossbow made a huge impact on me. Being able to help you guys in the midst of all that conflict put things into perspective. In a way, it saved me. So maybe I should be the one thanking you. I had no idea. So, what do you have to thank me for? When I look at them, all I see is two close friends. I suppose I'm a little jealous. Oh, I forgot to give you this. Didn't I already... What? I already had one, though. Thanks, Rosine. Got milk? Oh, 
Okay. Uh... Hi. Excuse me. You don't like it? I was thinking it looked kind of cool. Cannon. All right, let's go. Pretty sure I can get to the end of this place by tonight. Plenty of time, I think. Jeez. Expansive. Hail is way better. 
And he signed for less than that. First trial chest, I think the one, the first one with Reen. As enemies that petrify, so I need to make sure I have anti petrify accessories on. Otherwise, I'll basically fail. I'm still at zero retries, so I don't intend to <laughs> let that hit one. <laughs> 